Despite their fears and despite the trauma these students have been through, they came back to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School just two weeks after losing so many. Local police were on hand to greet them, many wearing the school's colours. Handshakes and hugs were plentiful. The act of walking through these gates, hard to imagine. I'm a little nervous going back, but I definitely feel safer since now there's so much security here and it's just going to be nice to be back with all my friends and teachers. I'm kind of excited to be back at school. Um, a little bit nervous to see how different everything feels, but I, I'm excited to be back with my friends. We just want to graduate, spread love. Over the past two weeks, these students have become a force for change. Their calls for gun reform have fueled the national debate. Their rallying call of never again echoed by parents who lost children. You see me here? I don't want to do this, but you guys look at me. I want to be the last father of a murdered kid that's ever in this country. That's it. This is me. I'm the last father. Everyone's going to say, yep, that's the last... That was his daughter that died. That was the last one. From protesting at the state capitol to social media campaigns, many here plan to keep pressure on politicians. Next month, many of these students will march in Washington, D.C., with the hope their voices will be heard. I lost one of my really close friends in this massacre, and so never again is just we refuse to be a statistic. We refuse to let anything else happen. We're going to actually advocate for gun control. For the students of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, this has been a traumatic but important day. Many were keen to be reunited with friends and teachers in what was a day of healing. Going forward, students will only attend half days. The building where 17 lives were lost is likely to be demolished and turned into a memorial. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Parkland, Florida.